To me, good health means being able to do what I need to do, be able to spend time with my family, doing family activities and recreation. That's what good health would mean to me. My health experiences have shaped me indirectly. I spent some time in Canada and I wanted to experience a healthcare system where healthcare was provided for everyone because of the story my father would tell me about someone who would have been my uncle uh, who died of a malignant tumor because my grandparents were poor and they couldn't afford health care. And my father told me stories of his younger brother crying in bed in pain because my grandparents couldn't afford medical care. And that made me try and seek um, knowledge of health care systems that provide access to everyone. So my experiences in Canada had a large effect on my understanding of health care. There's two very rewarding aspects of my work. The first one is getting involved in the training of medical students and residents to help to train the next generation of physicians is truly a gift. The second rewarding aspect of my position is the ability to facilitate research. By facilitating research, you're able to change patients and help patients who you've never even met. The healthcare breakthrough that I would most like to see is not a healthcare breakthrough. It's a breakthrough in the understanding that healthcare is the wrong stage. It's health that's the right stage. And if I could think of a healthcare breakthrough through, it would be to minimize the need for healthcare by providing people with better health. If I could think of a legacy that I would be proud of, it's to have changed things somewhat for the better. One of my mentors once said that being a physician is a gift because you get to spend your day helping patients and you make a decent living. Being an academic physician is a better gift. You make a slightly less <laughs> good living, but you not only get to help patients directly, but help the next generation of, of physicians to help patients. Being a researcher is even a better thing. You make a slightly less worse living, but you get to spend your day helping patients, training the next generation how to help patients, and helping patients who you'll never see through research. Being an academic leader then would be the best thing because you help patients, you train the next generation how to help patients, you help provide research that helps patients you've never seen, and you create the environment where all that can thrive, and I hope that would be my legacy.